Davido became a musician, he has always found a way to stay relevant in the African entertainment industry, especially when the dramas revolving Afrobeat trends kick off on social media. He has always found a way to get involved. Sometimes, if there are no controversies for weeks, he creates one. This was the case when the story of Cynthia Morgan's fall from grace began to trend. The risky singer quickly got involved. After tweeting her to give him a call, he bagged himself a viral trend. This wouldn't be the first time the fire singer will be pushing himself into the center of drama. We all know Davido has a love-hate relationship with his fans, but will this ever stop him from being the center of attention? Hello guys, it's Nuelin here from African Glitz. According to Urban Dictionary, a person who tries to feed off other people's popularity to benefit themselves is a cloud chaser. In today's world, if celebrities want to be praised or appreciated for a favor they did, the best way is to have it on social media. While some celebrities still manage to keep everything private, it looks like Afrobeat star Davido has mastered the act of not only airing his dirty laundries in public, he has also mastered how to talk about his good deeds in public too. While other celebrities are forming privacy, Davido is making sure he stays relevant from some of the crazy things he does. The 27-year-old singer, as we know, has always been the center for controversy. If not with his baby mamas, then it has to be something about his wealthy family. Based on our research, people began to take Davido less seriously and classified him a cloud chaser after he lied that he bought a private jet in August of 2018. Taken to Twitter, he revealed that he purchased a 19-seater jet. His claim stirred up controversy on social media, with some people saying his net worth at the time couldn't buy him a private jet yet. Shortly after the buzz, a picture of Davido's father and his friends praying on the side of the private jet surfaced online. The self-acclaimed Omo Babaolowo revealed that his father is the real owner of the jet. Reacting to the truth, he wrote, Lamo, all of you, what is mine is in my days and what is my father's is mine. Give me assurance. When Davido publicly professed his love for Choma back in 2017, he also used the advantage of public declaration which helped elevate his thriving career. Ever since then, he has made sure everything he does is public knowledge. When Choma got a cooking show deal, Davido hyped it up in a strategic way and also made sure everyone was aware that his connections made it happen. Around January 2019, Davido announced his London concert at the O2 Arena and continually bragged about it being sold out on social media. For whatsoever reason, Nigerians slammed and shared him, saying that other musicians such as Wizkid, Tiwa Savage and Simi has already done that. When the show came and went, people ranted about Davido's claim that the show was a sold out was all lies. Defending himself, Davido had to reply to individual trolls who came at him and was forced to provide receipts that the show was indeed a sold out sold out. Fast forward to 2020, a month after the pandemic broke out, Davido went on social media to tell his fans that his fiance Chioma has contracted the virus, while himself and their six months old son was okay. Apart from becoming the center of social media trends, Davido stole his fans' heart by continually posting lovely pictures of him and his young son, a move proving to melt people's hearts when fathers bond with their child. Despite rumors circulating that some of his staffs also contracted the virus, Davido revealing that only Choma contracted the virus was seen as cloud chasing. In February 2020, a British publication published an article with photos of Chelsea footballer stars Tammy Abraham and Fikayo Tomori, who are of Nigerian descent, clubbing with Davido in Dubai. In the report, they described Davido as an American singer. Well, Davido didn't find this flattering. His response to the article was rather surprisingly American, resulting to his fans slamming him for responding. Some even questioned if it was a show off. In April of 2020, Davido got the internet buzzing once again after he posted and said he 
just bought a house for one of his staff members. And the assurance singer quickly posted a picture of the house on his Twitter page. As you can imagine, this got him trending once again. Davido also makes sure every time he shower gifts on his friends or staffs, it never goes unnoticed on social media. Oh yeah, breakfast for you. Enjoy. Finish up. In early May 2020, when social media began to get boring, Davido dropped this photo with the caption, the two greatest of all time. Again, Davido set social media on fire as artists such as Bonaboy decided to disagree with him. OBO once again began trending after he became the first celebrity to reach out to Cynthia Morgan after her exclusive Instagram live interview. But some fans quickly pointed out that he should have reached out to her in private. Some went as far as dragging the sweet in the middle singer, calling him a cloud chaser in a series of tweets. One Twitter user voiced out that the only reason Davido wanted to help Cynthia Morgan is based on the fact that she is the center of attention and he is claiming to care calling him a hypocrite for wanting to trend. Of course, Davido trended next to Cynthia Morgan, but he also fulfilled his promise. <laughs> At the time of recording of this video, the two well-loved talented singers are working on a project together. Despite having millions of followers on social media, Davido believed that those who hate him only do so because they are mad about his father's wealth. This also begs an all-time argument if Davido is a self-made or the son of a rich man. But that's a video for another time. Do you think Davido is a clout chaser? Or would you say he is just trying to stay relevant on social media? Share your thoughts with us on the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching our videos and you enjoyed it, why not check out our channel for more trending African stories and news. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video. Don't forget to stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one. I'm a shooting star, I'm a blockbuster, I'm a young stunner, I'm Mr. Booker.